Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lee from Korea, far away from here. Actually, I'm very much awake now. It's morning. So thank you very much for the allocation of best time for me. My head is very clear now. <laughs> actually, actually, thank you, thank you. It's a great honor and great pleasure for me to announce uh, so National University Hospital's commitment to redu reducing uh, in-hospital cardiac arrest during procedural sedation. Actually, I'm a humble anesthesiologist in, in, at uh, Seoul National University Hospital. I uh, served there more than 28 years now. I was representing Korean Society of Anesthesiologists till last year. We analyzed the National Medical Dispute Database and we found a lack of vigilance and non-compliance with the airway guidelines and myocardial infarction are relative to major adverse events. And however, half of those adverse events can be avoided when uh, standard care is systematically followed. My hospital, with 1,500 beds, has frequent uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation cases with ine inevitable uh, cardiac arrest in the ICU and emergency room. Uh, occasionally, hopeless and terminal patients uh, end their lives in the hospital beds. Two years ago, among 171 cardiac arrest cases outside OR and ICU, 25 required CPR in the diagnostic and procedural rooms due to, mainly due to inherent patient condition. We think, however, probably uh, human and systemic factors might function insidiously because medical personnel are just near beside the patient uh, with uh, with uh, uh, basic monitoring at the event locations. Uh, adverse event outcomes are uh, inevitable, happen to health patients after simple procedures. Outcomes causes dissatisfaction among patients and caregivers, uh, which result in many medical lost Korean culture are very changed. Many, many family patients wants to protest against uh, uh, safety issue. However, providing high quality and safe sedation with limited resources has become a big challenge, even among university hospitals in Korea. When procedural sedation is performed, it is common for high-risk patients to develop adverse phenomena Previous researchers emphasized the importance of appropriate monitoring by trained personnel using pulse oximetry and capital graph may improve patient safety. And also adopting multimodal analgesic, analgesic plan such as acetaminophen and NSAID to opioid plans might decrease opioid doses and fewer adverse events. Nurses play a pivotal role, important, very, very important in the setting of uh, our situation when they are the major uh, ones responsible for monitoring patient sedation level. In Korea, uh, after medical accident, medication error on the pediatric patient and, and cardiac arrest cases, occurred on the uh, foreign tourist after sedation in Seoul. They, 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 those cases are uh, published and, and shown on the television and newspaper, and that, is, that makes a big national issue recently. So we continue to discuss for two years, and from last year, Patient Safety Act went into effect. So, my hospital, I want to share our action plans, such as adopting sedation checklist, 
situation records and teaching, airway management, and adopting actionable alarm limits like that, probably we can uh, share our experience with uh, patient movement, uh, patient safety movement uh, foundation. Probably we look forward to reporting back and this coming year and we uh, continue to plan on saving 12 lives each year. Thank you very much for your attention and time.